Alrighty team, we are going out to go and collect my March sub box. I am so excited. I have seen a couple of pictures of it and everything looks super kind of cute, but I don't actually know fully what is in it. So let's get the keys, let's get in the car, let's get going. Our team leader Nicola is sending me the coordinates now. This is very exciting because usually it just gets delivered to my door. This one's like a full-blown saga. It's okay, we'll get to the unboxing soon, don't worry. And we're off. Oh yes, I am a wizard. I can navigate the streets of Wellington. I'm having some struggles, team. <laughs> I'm sorry, where the heck has Nicola taken me? I'm gonna get killed. Well, we're still climbing, oh my gosh. Well, I'm on level 11 of this car parking building, but I'm not too sure what level I'm supposed to be on or if I'm even in the right car parking building. So this is going well. Okay, I've just messaged Nicola. I'm pretty sure I'm in the wrong building. So we're gonna have to back this truck up and get out of here. I think I'm supposed to be over there, maybe. I'm gonna try and turn around and see what I can do. <gasps> okay, I figured it out. When she said rooftop, I thought she meant like the top of an actual roof, but I forgot that Wellington is all based on hills. So this is a roof. Here's the beautiful rooftop parking spot that I was supposed to come to, as opposed to like the dingy, creepy, drug dealer-esque parking building that I ended up in. But it's okay, because look what we've got, the box. I am so excited to get this home and show you what the goodies are. Don't worry team, I wouldn't be driving with my uh, hands not available for the steering wheel. Let's, let's do it, we're going home. To the window, to the wall, to the wall, to the sweat drop down my Alrighty team, we're back home now. Let's take the box up to the office and see what we've got. Ah, look at how pretty it is. Oh. Because it seems like I'm never gonna clean up my office for reals. Here is a size comparison between the September subscription box, the December subscription box, and the March subscription box. Multiple angles for the sake of completeness. But seriously, let's open it. As per usual, we're gonna take everything out of the box and kind of put it together in a stack and work from top to bottom. Ah, so excited. Do I look a little frazzled? It's because I'm a little frazzled. <laughs> Alrighty, so we have everything out of the box, and as you can see, this first item takes up a fair bit of space, which is why we're going to do it first. And honestly, I think that this angle isn't really gonna cut it for this item, so we might change to another one. So as you can see, this one is a canvas tote bag with a really cute pattern on it. It's got this kind of minty green color, and then this white pattern over the top of that. I think the cool part about this tote bag though is that compared to the other tote bags we have, this one seems a lot more robust. So the base of this one is a lot more solid and a lot more structured. We're looking at approximately 28 and a half centimeters deep by 29 centimeters wide. In terms of sections, it has three spaces on either side. These aren't completely enclosed, there is a gap at the bottom, but it does make for a very good wine holder. And then we have a larger pocket in the middle. We have one attached loop on one side, and then on the other side we have a longer strap that isn't attached, but can feed through an eyelet. And according to what I've seen, this is to hold flowers onto the bag. I don't buy a lot of flowers, so I'm not too sure how I would use it. But the bag itself seems to be really handy. As you can see here, we have some modeling shots courtesy of Vogel. I think this would make a really good bag for like transporting a lot of bullet journaling supplies. So you can put different selections of pens in the different compartments, you can put your water bottle in there, have your journals in the middle, that kind of stuff. There is a lot of space in this bag and I really appreciate that. So although it is a tote bag and we have seen tote bags before, this one seems a lot more robust. So we have our first item, the pale green canvas tote bag. Continuing working top down though, our next item is a set of washi tape. So four adhesive paper tapes. We open it up. 
ensuring that I rip the box because I managed to do this every single time. Ooh, we've got some different sizes. That's cool. Let's get them out. So you can very clearly see the color palette we're working with. A lot of greens, the pink, a little bit of yellow for our little, little spots on our cheetah. I assume it's a cheetah. Maybe it's a leopard. I'm not really overly familiar with big cats. Let's get out a piece of paper and swatch these. There we go. So we have our piece of paper from the Archer and Olive notepad and we're just going to chuck these tapes onto there along with anything else we need to swatch in this box. There we go. So working from the top down, you can see we have the pink leopard print, which is roughly one centimeter in diameter. We have the dark green leopard washi tape, which is a regular one and a half centimeter in diameter. The leaf pattern in the paler green, which is another one centimeter washi tape. And then we have the larger patterned washi tape, which has a two and a half centimeter diameter. So our second item a set of four washi tapes. Put them back in their box. The next item we have, mine's gotten a little bit bent, but that's okay. I think this is a set of little die cuts. Oh, they're so cute. There are a lot more in here than I was expecting. And this one, yep, does peel. They are stickers. So we have die cut stickers. We've got a couple of different designs. Let's see. So I got this guy, two of our little leaves, two of that one, little, little jungle kitty. Jungle Kitty number two. Some more little leaf designs. Little fan leaf. Monstera leaves. Another little fern. And then a bowling ball. No, I'm pretty sure this is like a stylized fruit or sun or... I don't know, it's here too. I'm not too sure. We'll put it that way. You can see that for each design we have two stickers and they do have a shiny finish. So we have our third item, the die cut stickers. Try and put them gently into their little packet. There we go. So cute. Our next item says enamel bookmarks. Set of two. And I'm honestly not too sure what to expect here, but let's have a look. Oh, wow. Look at how pretty that is. Aww. I think the leaf one is personally my favorite. Let's get this out. These are nice and thin, so there's not a lot of weight to them, which is probably good for bookmarks. You don't want them like weighing down the side of your page. As you can see, we have two designs of these as well. So the one with our little big cat and the one with our fern and monstera leaf. I don't do a lot of reading of physical hard copy books, but I could probably use these in my journal to like mark specific pages and things like that. Let's have a look at how they look in a journal. So taking an A5, Go, just slips onto the page as such and put the other one on as well go. oh that's so cute so they just kind of sit out the top so you can see them in all their prettiness and then just grab onto it and flip to the page very nice. You might not be able to tell, it does leave a very minimal bend in the page. That's also probably because I shoved it all the way to the end of the bookmark. But because they are nice and thin, this bend isn't too noticeable. So our fourth item, the set of two enamel bookmarks. Slide back in. Our next item, I'm not too sure what this is. We will probably have to open it to find out. But very nice box, matches the overall color palette and aesthetic of the box in general. I can get it open. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's cute! <gasps> Pretty! I love it! Oh, cool! Dock red notepad. It's not sized to like an A5 or a B5 or anything like that. But this is super cute. So we have this creamy kind of color, like yellow banana kind of color. We have this dark green. Oh, love dark green. And then we've got this lighter shade of green. Green is like my second favorite color. This is cool. I love having dot grid paper in different colors, like colors other than just black, craft, white. Now, obviously we've gotten green dot paper in a sub box before. So I think we should probably do a color comparison between this one and that one. So here's the notepad that came in the sub box from last June. And you can see the green is very similar. Let's see. 
It's similar, but it doesn't seem to be the exact same. The one from the June sub box is darker. Not that I'm too sure how well you can tell on camera. If I pull one of these off, ooh, there we go. So you can see it doesn't perfectly blend in, but it is a very similar shade. I love to use this dot grid paper as part of like my monthly themes. So if I had a theme that had greens in them, I could use these pieces of paper to make like my daily check boxes and things like that. You can put it in a corner of a page and then rip along a diagonal to make some like decorative borders and things like that. This is an exciting addition. I am pleased that we get more of this. So we have our fifth item, the tricolor dot grid notepad. Easier to get into the box than it was to get out. Now our next item, you can already tell from the box what it is, but we have a set of calligraph pens. This one's the Into the Wild collection. Let's have a look at the colors. Ah, oh, yes. Totally makes sense with what we've got in the box. So if we grab those out. As per the previous sets of calligraphs, we have a broad tip at one end and a fine tip at the other. In terms of color names, we've got this kind of lighter green color, which is called Parakeet. We have a darker green, which is called Jungle Green. The yellow, which is called Toucan Orange. So maybe not so yellow? We'll have to wait and see. This kind of minty green, which is called Blue Lagoon and this really pale green yellow, which is marsh green. Let's get our paper back and swatch those out. So starting with parakeet. Go. And the fine tip as well. Darker green, the jungle green. Ooh, that is pretty. That's more of like a blue green kind of color. Moving on to that yellow color or the toucan orange. So broad tip first. So while our first two calligraphs had the same color for the broad tip and the fine tip, when it came to the toucan orange, you can see we have that yellow color for the broad tip and then the fine tip is much more of an orange color. On to blue lagoon, which I think the color of this very much matches the color of that larger washi tape, but we'll swatch it out. So this one looks very similar for both of them. I'm pretty sure that's just the same color. And then onto our last one, that marsh green. That's actually a really pretty light green. A lot of the time, light greens either end up being kind of minty or they end up kind of fluorescent. So this one's just like a nice light green color. It doesn't have that kind of fluorescent element and it is certainly not minty. So we have our sixth item, the set of five calligraph pens. Make sure the caps are on properly. Very good. The next item we have is a set of three coloring sheets. Now, I know the issue that some people took with the last lot of coloring sheets we got is that the paper was that kind of glossy finish. So it was actually really hard to find pens that worked on the paper. Let's see what we've got here. Again, if I can get them out. Ooh, okay. So we've got a pretty monstera leaf pattern for the first one. And this is on like a thick kind of card. You can hopefully tell that this is a matte finish, not a glossy finish. We have our big cat and little leaf pattern again. And then on this one, we have another simpler leaf pattern. Let's use the Monstera to check if the calligraphs work on this paper. Obviously the only practical choice for Monstera leaves is going to be the Toucan Orange. Hopefully you can see that color shows up nice and vibrant. It's nice and easy to put the pen down. It's actually going into the paper as opposed to just like sitting on top of it and beading up like the last paper kind of seemed to do especially with these kind of water-based markers you know i'm not gonna do the whole leaf because honestly i am just excited to get on to our next item but hopefully you can see that the calligraphs do very much work on this paper getting myself distracted i just want to color in one of those dots <laughs> Doesn't smudge, very good. <laughs> so for our seventh item, we have the set of three coloring sheets. Back into your packet. And then there was one. I think we can guess what this item is as well. So let's just open it up. Oh, what is it? What is it? I like this thinner paper. Oh, that is cute. And I think that's going to make some people very happy. So you can see we have our little leaf design on the front. This is a faux leather or vegan leather cover. 
It does have a slight texture to it, more texture than some of the vegan leather covers we've had before. Get this out. Oh, he's snug, he's snug. So as it says, we have dock grid pages, which you can see are white. A5 size. Oh, that little leaf is so cute. This would be like a plant journal. Or, you know, just a regular journal. Go, take that off. So, elastic closure, elastic pen loop. Ooh, oh, that is cool. Look, the pages are perforated. The perforation is nice and close to the binding as well, so there won't be too much, like, leftover paper if you do pull any pages out. This book belongs to... Docker, Docker, Docker. Our classic gusseted pocket in the back. We have our little Archer and Olive charm. I think this is going to make some people very happy. It makes me very happy. This is perfect for the journal rainbow. Woo! A very pretty minty green kind of color. So that's the eighth item, our white paged A5 dock grid notebook. The March sub box will open up for new subscribers during the week of March 8th. So make sure you head over to the Archer and Olive website using the link in the description box. And for any other purchases you want to make from Archer and Olive, make sure to use code JASHIKARIN10 for 10% off. It's a great way to support this channel while also getting yourself a discount. A lot of exciting items in this sub box, but as always, I would love to know which of them do you think you're most excited about? Or which of them would you be like most likely to use? I think for me, it's going to be the tote bag because it's just... I love things that have compartments. It's got pockets. It has space to keep all my supplies. And I think that'll be really handy for like going to Bujo Wednesday and stuff. So that's probably my pick, but I'd love to hear what yours is in the comments below. Now I just need to go find a home for all of these items. So with that said, thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, please do make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you wanted to see more from me, feel free to go check out one of my other videos. Until next time, bye. Ow, I just stabbed myself in the eye. <laughs> you need to do more than just one angle of the video, not a fucking photo. Uh.